Guten Morgen, liebe Freunde und herzlich willkommen zurück hier auf dem besten Kanal auf YouTube, wenn es um Musik geht. Welcome back, guys, to the best channel on this planet, when we're talking about music and jongleur. Jongleur. Keine Ahnung. Juggling. Juggling. Juggle, juggle. <laughs> and say hi to Cameron. Hi, hi Cameron. Cameron. And say hi to Butch. Butch. What's up, Butch? Oh, he oh. like blends in totally with his bed. <laughs> I didn't see him at first. Look at that. You can't see him only because he's wearing his socks. It has almost the same feel as well. So yeah, he loves this bed because it uh, looks almost like him, even the outside car. But yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we always... Uh, It's getting more and more other stuff than uh, reacting on the music videos we're supposed yeah. to or, or planning to. Okay. Well, Maybe we should start. Uh, well, 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 we're all f we're, what? Yeah, we're all friends here, so we can talk. We're about all friends some now, stuff. yeah, because we we reached the 100,000 subscriber limit uh, deadline line uh, something, but now we're on 107,000. Can you even believe how many people those are? No. Me neither. But what I can't believe even more is how is this YouTube channel on over 100,000 and Instagram is like oh. way down. <laughs> Guys, have, what is happening? Uh, Make I, some moves I mean, here. I mean, I have no Come clue. On. I can press this button and show my Instagram handle and say, please, guys, follow me on Instagram. Uh, but I'm, I'm not so sure if it makes uh, sense. It's, it's not working, I think. Uh, Why? But yeah. Why? So, uh, yeah. But I wanted to say that uh, maybe because of talking more and more about other stuff, we should start a vlog or something like that. Would this be mm. interesting, guys? Write it in the comments. Do you want to see our uh, daily Ilsen? Daily crazy. Daisy crazy. No. Daisy <laughs> daily, daily crazy. Da daily Irrenhaus. Yes. Irrenhaus is a German word and means uh, uh, crazy, crazy people house. Psyche. I don't know the direct translation. Okay, so we're going to check out New West. Uh, the title is I'm in Trouble. It's uh, been a couple of days that we uh, missed checking out this one. But oh, yeah. yeah And it's been a couple of months since we checked. But we're never too late. So it. let's check it out. Yes. Love the beginning. Love. Mm -hmm. Big love. <laughs> oh. oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. 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 This one's good. Baby, oh, oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. 
친구들이 내가 누구냐고 물어봤으면 해 One more part? No It's... Not bad. This one's pretty good. Oh my gosh. This one's really, really nice. That's getting directly into my favorites. <laughs> That's why so many, Whoa. so many of you guys were writing this one in the comment section and asking and requesting and and everything, Thank begging, you. begging for, Thank for you. Uh, it's Thank it's really good. It's just I, I like I like the style the overall. I really like the style. And what's wrong? What's wrong? He was. In <laughs> sleepy time. So I really like this style overall. Uh, by the way, abonniert, uh, abonnieren means subscribe. Uh, the style overall, right? It it's it's so uh, very groovy. The tempo is nice. It has the super nice bass sound, which actually brings this groove boom. Mm. Do do do. That's all. That's everything. Something like this, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, we talked. Which 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 video was it? Uh, I talked about the roof uh, just yesterday, right? Just yesterday was or the day yesterday? before. Um, but uh, I, when I talked about the bass instruments, mm -hmm. that the bass and 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 the drum section always are the important role for for the really? rhythm. Right. Oh yeah, I remember. So I don't know which video it was. Yeah, um, wasn't it? Did you? No, it wasn't. It doesn't matter. So yeah, and uh, oh. this builds up this groove, this pretty nice groove, and uh, makes you nod your head at the beginning. And if it gets on and on, and the, the chords are nice, and the melody is nice, your whole body wants to move. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, very appreciated over here. So uh, yeah. I just I just like that song. Play it again. I don't want to say something uh, about uh, the mastering though. <laughs> no. 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 I thought it was really fine for my. Yeah. Ears. So this is the bass instrument. Sounds like an E bass. And you hear this vinyl crackling or something. Right. 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 The 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 uh, vinyl noise. Vinyl noise. The the cracks. The um, it's just noise. Actually, there are not a lot of cracks going on because when you have the real cracks, it's, it's mm. like a, yeah. yeah, yeah, little ones. I don't know. I'm not so sure about the mastering because. Now the bass instrument changed actually, or is the octave uh, deeper? That is only most muted. Yeah, it's deeper. Yeah. One, one up. That is only most muted. But it also, it sounds at first, it sounds like it has this. What is it like a radio effect? Or oh, something yeah. on it? And yeah, then that's because of the. That clears up. Yeah, that's because of the frequencies where the bass instrument is playing and maybe they even filtered it in some kind of way so uh, you don't have a lot of highs but but actually the high yeah there are not too many highs uh the high frequencies and the the bass sound actually there's no bass it's only playing in the middle right mm. in, the, in the middle frequencies and if you, if you have only the middle frequencies you get this radio or oh, telephone effect okay. so yeah but the bass is also playing in another octave i mm. think but it's not for sure because with the same instrument you can have uh the this uh bass um section or this bass part but because they uh, which uh, the one that you have later 
here. But you don't hear it because they filtered or killed it off. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, okay. When you, when you, yeah, when you filter off all the low frequencies, you only have this uh, higher um, parts. Sounding. Yeah, actually, those are um, in in German uh, Obertöne in English. I think overtones then, um, because you have the bass harmony. Mm -hmm. It's the bass sound you hear yeah. when you're playing any instrument mm -hmm. and then you get uh overtones mm -hmm. and uh those are overtones that you're hearing and maybe they fit it off the just the bass part and or they really played it one octave lower but now i think they just uh, filtered here when you hear the more the bass uh all the frequencies above are just uh, filter filtered out <laughs> Oh, it's so good. You hear it like yeah. with the headphones on. You can hear stuff on the left, stuff yeah. on the right, and moving. Yeah, the panning is awesome. Even the sound effect, this one's only on the left. Right. Oh. Now I see. Okay. Uh, and this effect was nice as well. Right, like 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 a phaser, something. But again, I think it's a filter. Nice. More harmonies. You know what I don't like about the mastering? That the bass is a little bit too subtle. Too subtle. Mm. It's not really because it's a it's a it's a it's a puck. <laughs> it's a bass driven song and by that I think that the bass should be more present. Area of the frequencies should be more present. Especially the bass instrument because mm. it gives this okay. the, the whole vibe of the song, the whole groove. And if you let's compare it to um other songs that are similar it uh, instantly reminded me of uh, um what's his name um this young boy uh the young boy from uh, from yeah, from USA this um oh, i always forget his name yeah, his first song was uh, similar to this one. It was really bass driven. Uh, you really have uh, like like uh, the breaks in between. Boom, boom. Hmm. Was it Love? No, the other one. But Love has a similar Charlie song. Charlie Puth? Yeah, Charlie Puth. Right, thank you so much. Uh, actually, he has a couple of songs in this style, yeah, very bass driven, and uh, between the, the basses. I love his songs. And yeah, and when you do the mastering right, you get a really, really hard uh, groove feeling because mm -hmm. the bass, when the bass plays, you have the signal, uh, very bumpy, pumpy effect. Mm -hmm. When it not plays, it's you get this kind of vacuum effect, especially when you have. Oh. Uh, over ear closed headphones on like uh, we have the biodynamic dt 770 pro uh, studio basic headphones you really need to listen on those not on uh dre beat headphones or something and like that and those are really really uh, used for mixing mastering and recording by professionals and studios for decades so um yeah um what was i talking about yeah then you have this effect and this effect really gets you gets you even more mm -hmm. you know and this this is something i was missing in this uh mastering in this song and um, okay yeah i still like it but i get what you're saying yeah. Yeah. The drums are really cool. They have this like marching sound. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's a snare drum. <laughs> Build up. Sub downer. Sub downer again. Ooh, for the drop. 
I mean, it's very common, but still, it's super cool. It's so good. That's, uh, yeah. so good. I love it, guys. I mean, here you can see again that, that you can't get tired of mainstream music, even if you know what is coming. You kind of expect it and you want it. But if, if, if there are some elements different to other songs, that's enough. That's enough. And the, the vocals are good, the sounds are nice, the sound design. See here you can hear the higher part of the bass mm -hmm. instrument and the lower one. Or maybe it's another bass or a different part and they layered mm -hmm. it up. But still, especially in the chorus and the hook, this, for me at least, has to get me. So the, the, the bottom mm -hmm. is missing from the whole song. It's a little bit too, too subtle, too low in volume mm. for me. Mm. You know that pump is missing. Yeah. Now you have it. You know, this part gets even more because it's getting more groovy. Ooh, I'm in trouble. Yeah, you're absolutely in trouble. And this, the snare drum changes to a wet, wetter sounding mm -hmm. snare. Uh, actually, uh, for me, it's always like a Michael Jackson snare because mm. uh, they had s such special snare sounds and those were very loud always in the mix they they just like they were like like uh whipping your ass <laughs> off really if you listen to old albums from michael jackson like uh dangerous for example oh yeah the dangerous album whoa yeah okay. you you when you hear one song after another you will just concentrate on the snare the snare will piss you off <laughs> Because it's super loud, super aggressive, and it's like like really whipping your ass off. And uh, but it gets you. Mm -hmm. It makes you want to dance. And uh, it's the same way here. See, super wet and claps in the background. Yeah. Nice. Also, some sound effects always going on with the mm -hmm. vocal sound effects, actually, the whoop on them. Or something like this. Yeah. So, he was like an echo effect with his own voice, but uh, pitched down. Huh? Just, just like a uh, uh, question and response. I didn't realize that before. I always miss the moment when he moves, <laughs> but uh, he changed. Oh, his. he's a little monkey! I love the little monkey! Yeah, he loves the little monkey. Um, oh my! Nice uh, higher harmony in the vocals. <laughs> nice pre chorus. The snares already, the wetter snares are already playing here in this part, oh. uh, but not on, on every uh, second count, mm. only on the um, fourth count only. I, I have to count, but I'm, I think. Now. 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 Yeah. yeah, now it's on every. Two, three, four, one, two. I got you on my mind. 
둘이 내가 누구냐고 물어봤으면 해 Nice bass line Super cool And overall the style is very international, right? But not the mastering, it's uh, it's always the same. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's on every K-pop song, actually. But, but it's not that bad. We've, yeah, we've but heard if you, worse, But right? if, if you would listen... What's what's the title of the Charlie Puth song? Can you... Uh, the first one... Attention? Attention, yeah. If you listen to Attention, you... Uh, I, oh, I will... I will... I will... Uh, risk it to have the to have the the copyright claim mm. but it's very important for me to, to that you guys get what i'm talking about because i i say it so so often on k-pop productions and you guys always or almost don't believe me anymore or uh, think that i'm crazy but it's it's not the point and i think maybe because because of that not only of that but in maybe one or two ways um k-pop music is not so well um uh received by international listeners you know mm -hmm. because the production the the, the the songwriting styles the production styles they changed so much from the when you think uh, think about the second generation yeah. k-pop and now yeah. they're so yes. they're so so western uh totally. inter international style uh they're simplified there are more complicated ones yeah. as well but there are a lot of simplified ones even in krb and hip-hop oh. as well mm -hmm. i mean j the best example uh, was was uh, august d it's it's so good but there was the mastering uh, good as well and you can see reactions from american listeners american reactioners um that they received the song from august d like whoa yeah yeah I because agree. because it's it has the sound it has the groove it has the vi vibe and this song from new west has everything already so the production before mixing and mastering is awesome just great but then you can really really mess up a nice production <laughs> when you when you don't do the nice mixing and don't do a nice mastering that breaks my heart i still like it though but always when you're that. when you're in doubt you can always give the mixing and mastering job to someone f from from the usa or so yeah. someone who does a lot of uh, international mixing Hits. and mastering yeah Whoa. see even the vocal sounds You've been running around, running around, running around, throwing that dirt all on my name. See, the vocal instantly gets under your skin because it's mixed better, uh, maybe even recorded better, but I think it's mixed better. I don't think that the in Korea they don't have the, the equipment or the technical we know they're, they're knowledge. Uh, there were already some, some songs with this, but here they, in, 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 with international productions or American productions, I don't want to say that Americans do the best productions, but those are internationally, worldwide, better received by any culture. Mm -hmm. Because they, they really got it, you know? The, the, the sound is so dry, still has some real up going on. Mm -hmm. The frequencies are nice. Around, go around, go around in LA. It has this, this super soft kind of um, gliss going on in the yeah, higher frequencies, yeah. but not too much that it hurts your ears. It just sounds expensive. Yeah, it does. Right? I was just wondering if it was Attention or his other song. Uh, I, more I think that... Uh, he was, this oh, part, yeah. yeah. There was another one when when it started right away with the bass line, yeah. but uh, this one as well. Yeah. See? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Now. You have this oh. effect when you're hearing with your headphones Oof. on. Uh, you have this effect because it's clever. You have a like a white noise uh, synth coming up, building mm -hmm. this riser, uh, riser, and then you have a hard cut 
uh, onto a very dry signal from a e-bass guitar kind of sound maybe it's even a th synth but you get this this um, this feeling you only get this feeling with a right mixing and mastering it's not only because of the production by itself so the songwriting or the computer production stuff you always have to do the right mixing and mastering because there you have the compression uh, how the compressors work when uh, the one signal comes up like the noise so the compression has maybe uh, to be lower and um, widen up more and then when this uh, maybe lower sound but drier sound comes in it has to work a little bit more so it's g quite difficult actually but when you know what to do it's simple mm. and uh, this is something you really get here See, it's, uh, and, and this this was missing for me in the Nuez song. Okay, get it. See, and if yeah, you have the I reference it. directly, it's it's uh, you call it um, A B comparing or A B mm -hmm. listening um, because you have uh, version A and version B, mm -hmm. and uh, here you are listening to a reference song, which could be B in this case. When you listen in this A B style, you instantly will get what is missing maybe for you to get this more groovier feeling mm -hmm. or the dance vibe and uh, the mastering in the Nuest song is again a little bit too wide mm -hmm. again so the stereo image is a little bit opened up a little bit too wide in the end this for example is again a nice reference to see the difference between uh, not too wide and I mean, you have white vocals as well, but then only the vocals are wide and not everything. And that's the difference. Maybe uh, they put into the mastering change the, the, the last thing you have. Maybe they put a stereo imager on that and then they open it up. But it's not a good effect because uh, the, the mono stuff you have and you only want to have in the middle is also oh, getting a little bit wider mm -hmm. or maybe gets uh it's, it's not really getting wider but it loses in quality as well because mm -hmm. plugins don't always have a positive effect on the audio signals mm -hmm. um there are even some plugins you just uh, not even activate them just put it into the chain and instantly the sound quality changes mm -hmm. so um yeah Ah. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. And again, back. Here's everything still fine because there's no bass, ba bass here sound, but then. There, but it's, right. it's not as strong. Right. Yeah. That's the point. Maybe That's I mean strong. maybe the intention. Is so good. Yeah, it's it's still pretty good. But mm -hmm. maybe also maybe the producer's Wanted intention to like wasn't to have it like uh, mm -hmm. the the Charlie Puth yeah. song. Yeah. So, but I think it would have been really great to have it just a little bit more. Groove. Groovier, the bass a little bit louder or more um, uh, with this like like vacuum pumping effect. Mm -hmm. uh, this would have been a little bit nicer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it the same bass line actually? No. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, a little bit different. Yeah, guys, uh, so this one was uh, pretty complicated, uh, but just to get get my point. Yeah, 
It's not the same baseline, but the... Um, okay, guys, thank you so, so much. Uh, I've been talking too much again. Subscribe to the channel. Glöckchen an für den Ehrenmann. Ring, ring the bell and ring watch, the watch bell. the park. Oh, he's so cutie. Yes, make him do something. Dance, Butch. Dance, work dance, it, work dance, it, work dance, it, work dance, it. Dance, oh, dance. yes. Ooh. 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 That's good. Oh, man. baby. Mm. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Guys, thank you so, so much. Again, subscribe. Abonnieren means subscribe. subscribe. This is subscribe. Thumbnail time. Thumbnail time. <laughs> I'm good. I want to make the oh, but also happy. Like, yeah. <laughs> ten, ten faces in one. Guys, thank you so, so much Thanks, for sitting with us and uh, listening with us. Bye, Kenny. Oh, I can't move out. Oh, he's such a baby. Such a baby. Bye.